Yeah, I want to. Kadar. <laughs> Say something. It's your video. Uh, now I'm under pressure. Um, what song is this? This is Got Damn. Mm -hmm. We're shooting the music video for it. It's Got Damn with an exclamation point. And uh, yeah, we're on some samurai back up on my bullshit type shit. <laughs> Shoot it. I'm Kelly Reed. We're here at the Unicorn yes. Badass Princesses Video Shoot. <laughs> Just trying to come correct with it. Hell yeah. So how do you feel after your first uh, washer and dryer scene? I feel warmed up now. So the world wants to know, are you a, like, a weekly clothes washer kind of girl, or do you wait until you get to your last garment and then wash? This is a horrible question. I'm a two to three weeks type of bitch. Okay. But two it's three. not horrible, it's okay, like, um, I live by myself though, so like doing one person's laundry, like two or three weeks worth, like that's a good amount to do it. And you know, like when you live in an apartment, it's like up and down, up and down. Like if it were in my apartment, I would do it more often. Because it would be more convenient. All right, well you heard it here first. Kadar only does laundry two to Every oh. two to three weeks. Oh. <laughs> the world wants to know. What do they want to know, DC? Um, your makeup. They want to know where do you get your makeup inspiration from and how long does it typically take you to do your makeup? I am inspired by a girl named Nikki Nickel. She is a blue haired kind of like clown makeup TikToker. She's really awesome and just has this really cool sense of style. And when I saw her shit, I was really inspired by the way she does her makeup. And I was like, I want to incorporate that into what I'm doing, but like in my own way. My style is very visual K, pastel, goth, grunge, aesthetic, sparkly, sequins. If you look at the actual outfit, it's pretty dark. But I feel like what, what makes it bright and kind of what gives it its own edge is the hair. So if you look at where we are, it's really dark, but the hair kind of brightens everything and levels it out. So it's, it doesn't feel so dark. So, so that equals to how long for your makeup? How long for makeup? Uh, today probably took me an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. Not that long. I've gotten, I've like nailed it. If I'm doing like regular makeup, not music not music video makeup, it's like 30 minutes. Nice. Yeah, just my everyday version of this. Yeah, 30 minutes. All right, you heard it here first. Yeah. That's a great shot. Honestly. I mean, what I do. That is fire. It is not focusing on me. Let us see one of those uh, walking through the parking lot. Okay, so question number three. The world wants to know, how did you meet DC and how long have you known him? Okay. Uh, I met DC in November of 2020. And I know this because we were in the Home Depot. Um, I was singing in the bathroom and I met his lovely wife, Kelly, who is a real estate agent out here. And if you're looking for a house, you need, to, you need to hit her up. Shameless plug. Shameless. We'll link her in the description. <laughs> but she heard my voice and we were washing our hands and she was just like, you know, like your voice is really pretty. Like my husband like 
is an engineer, and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, he's standing outside right now, like right outside the bathroom. And I was like, oh, <laughs> great, like let's, let's meet. Cause you know, I'm always down to meet people. And so DC told me that he went to Full Sail, mm. which is a sister school of the LA Film School which is where I went, and I was in the recording department. And he told me he was looking for uh, some engineers. And I was like, listen, I realize that I have the voice of an angel, but mm -hmm. I also engineer and I mix, and let me send you my resume before all these other people send you their resumes because you are about to like, like try to get people to apply to you at this job fair at my school. Yeah. And I said that shit in five minutes, in five minutes. Like, yeah. I said that shit before y'all walked out of the store. Yeah, you did. Yeah, cause I was like, listen, like this could be my way to get a job. Like maybe my parents will believe in me if I have this job, like in the industry. And then DC totally just took me under his wing and taught me everything I needed to know to uh, mix like a professional industry standard. Mm -hmm. Facts. And now I can mix a track in an hour and a half. Okay, hey, let's go. He mixed, shame and flow, once again. Yeah, e-mixed.com. We'll put it right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, if, you, if you need your song mixed, I might be mixing it if you go to e-mixed. Boom. Which is, is funny because you didn't actually produce this song, but I've known Glenwood, the producer of this song, Glenwood only, for like three years. I met him at the ASCAP Expo. So we'll plug him also. He produced this track, Fire. Mm -hmm. And DC is also a producer, he's Fire. These are the two producers that I work with, like majority unless I'm producing it. So that's, that's the move. Shout out to Glenwood. It's hilarious because in these shots I'm like sexy and shit, but like in real life it's like. Deep. Okay. <laughs> 